Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Kuon with Frozen Foxy, this year's Halloween special. Last time we left off, we had just finished uh, the Yin phase, and we're about to start the Yang phase. For those of you who know a lot about this game, you probably know I've been holding back on a lot of things. There's huge spoilers in this game, and a lot of stuff that we're glossing over. I'm hoping to go over a bit of that in the Yang phase, so we'll see how that works. Anyway, let's get started. So this is the Lord's Manor. It's odd for all of us to be summoned at the same time. Hmm. It's been a month since Lord Fujiwara disappeared. We know a few of his servants entered, but have failed to leave. True. But that is nothing for us to be concerned about. They're only demons. Our master's skills will disperse them promptly. Master. Sakuya! Why have you come here? I understand that this investigation concerns Lord Fujiwara. His manor is infested with demons, which astrologers can't exercise. How can we... Enough! I have passed my knowledge and skills on to you. You're not a student of Abe no Sime, the incompetent. Fear not. Now go, child. Sakuya! Hey! Sakuya! The Elder Disciples are gone! Come on! Let's go in! So as we're starting here, we're getting thrown into a whole lot of stuff that's going on um, in this story that we didn't get to hear from uh, Utsuki's perspective. For example, they're talking about uh, astrologers not being able to banish the demons um, right off the bat, and astrologers is not quite the right word for uh, the people in these uh, golden yellow costumes here. They're actually uh, called omioji which is uh, basically every astrologer in the game that is trying to banish these demons, but more than just being astrologers, they're uh, practitioners of divination, luck, magic, time, and even direction. Because uh, going the wrong direction, as we've seen in this game, can be bad luck. It actually causes tempest walls to be hit. Um, and that's, that's a real thing that uh, was in Japan where they... Uh, uh, practice this kind of divination uh, as something called Omiodo, which is uh, literally the path of yin and yang, and we're on the yang phase right now. Um, and uh, this this was all happening during a period of time in Japan called uh, the Heian period. So um, interesting stuff. Look into it if you want to know more. I'm not going to explain all of it because there's huge amounts of information on all of this that uh, that really just goes over tons and tons of stuff. Anyway, let's go and actually play the game and check out what's going on after that brief explanation of uh, some interesting stuff that has been glossed over in this game. The Elder Disciples are gone! Are they now? Okay, well, that's cool with me. I don't really like this uh, equipment setup, so I'm definitely going to change that. Now, instead of a knife, we start out with a fan here, which is uh, the Doman's fan. It is a ceremonial fan given to Sakuya, bleh, Sakuya by the Doman. Um, 
or Doman is actually his name. The fan is more powerful than the dagger, however it is a little bit more difficult to use in the long run because you actually have to time your attacks, whereas um, the dagger you can just kind of mash the button and you will be able to do uh, both attacks, however if I just mash the button here, this is all I get. Just this. And sometimes I'll get that. That's the uh, secondary attack, but you have to kind of hit at the very end of her fan swing to actually get that second uh, swing there. Otherwise, you're getting nothing. Um, much more powerful, however, a lot slower than the dagger. Which makes it a little bit more uh, complicated to use in the long run. And we've got a scroll of survival here. We actually read this already. I'm going to try and skip scrolls that we have read. Some of the scrolls will overlap between uh, each of the playthroughs of the yin and the yang phase here. However, there are some scrolls, or <laughs> the majority of the scrolls actually, that are completely different. Yeah. All right, we have a tempest here which is uh, what I was talking about with the directions. Anyway. Now I can try to do my second move, however, one, it is very slow compared to how fast this Gaki moves, and two, the Gaki usually gets hit back uh, far enough that he will not be touched by the second hit of the fan. So it's usually just easier to wait and uh, swing it a second time uh, rather than trying to do both of your moves like this. Um, it's a very interesting uh, playstyle that you have to use with uh, Sakia. It's very different. And we'll go ahead and meditate here. Demons and all evil spirits. Now because uh, Sakia is actually trained, she knows words to say and can meditate a lot faster than Utsuki. Not only that, but she is uh, far more hardy than Utsuki since she's trained. Therefore she can take a lot more damage than Utsuki ever could. Ooh, laggy. Really laggy. All right, doesn't really seem to be anything over here. So as you can see, we're starting at a completely different side of uh, the manor by coming over here. And there's going to be a lot of differences. In fact, there's going to be things that will happen that uh, seem to disprove things that happened in the story, but I'll get to that later on. Something is written in blood. It looks like a woman's writing. The flute makes beautiful sounds. La la la. <laughs> yeah, okay. What the hell was that? So, unlike uh, Utsuki, we actually got to see some, uh, some writing about the flute sounds. I don't think that writing is in, uh, in Utsuki's phase. I could be wrong, and I could have just missed it, but uh, I don't think it is there. Got a scrap of cloth. Writings on a scrap of cloth by a servant. The manor and Lord Fujiwara are doomed, but his daughter must be saved. I saw Lady Fujiwara at the temple. I wonder how she is now. Now, um, Fujiwara is actually a ruling clan that was... Uh, during the uh, Heian period, so um, big, big kind of thing to uh, to have in this game um, is to have that clan because they literally controlled um, a lot of this how you dealt with spirits and demons and so forth. So this is this is hugely, hugely steeped in uh, Japanese mythology, and I highly recommend you read up on it. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, because there's some really interesting stuff going on in this game that's not really explained directly. A 
I'll try not to run too much because there is um, far more Tempests in uh, Sakia's playthrough. <laughs> There's just stuff to run into everywhere. What we got going here? The wall is covered in blood. Looks like something is written. My blood! My blood! What fun, what fun. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Seal Venus has been placed on the door, and we do not have any seals. So, something that is um, of interest uh, with our equipment here is we do not have any of the... Uh, the summon cards outside of the uh, the spider here. Not at all. So somehow we're giving summon cards to uh, to Utsuki that we do not have on hand, and uh, we will not be picking those up, as far as I recall. Look! The seal, Mercury, has been placed here. You... you do remember how to remove such a seal. Just apply a blood-stained sacred cloth to the seal. There's a sacred cloth for each type. A seal can't be removed unless both a seal and sacred cloth match. Well... <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure it out. See? Even I can be nice to my little sister sometimes. So this is the first time that we actually learned that uh, these two are related here. Other than that, uh, throughout this entire game, you would never have any idea that these two are related. There's no, uh, no rapport or anything between the two besides this. Now you'll certainly start to see a lot of the same seals are around here, um, and in such a way that it seems like some of the seals had to be removed by Sakuya rather than uh, removed by Utsuki. So it's, it's kind of strange. Um, possible that someone else is uh, setting up uh, these seals as we're moving uh, through here, and so Utsuki came through at a completely different time. It's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to wrap your head around the timeline of everything that's happening in this game. Go on ahead. See if you can find anything else. Go on ahead. Alright, nothing else to hear there. There's someone on top of that building. We got the twins, we got someone with really long hair. I don't know what's going on here. I don't think that's uh, Kuriha though, because Kuriha's hair is a little bit shorter. Guess I don't need to meditate. <laughs> 